Let's go with what I'm originally thinking. Okay, so... Get through this. She's showering. Um... Hello? There you are. Hello. Hey, Esther. <laughs> That'll never get old. This game is indeed amazing, Carrero. Why y'all making me cry? Dream in the dream. Maybe it's in another dream. <laughs> Don't do that. What? All I did was say hello. Don't speak my name, dearest. There's a reason I am. Yeah, we've we've had this conversation before. I can't say your name. You have blah blah blah. I was trying to. Okay, well. <laughs> it's still good to see you again. <laughs> okay. Uh. So. Let's switch over here. What do I gotta do? Okay. So backstage mirror. Apply the mask raid mask and elegant robes ritual knife robes <clears throat> okay cool so we'll go in how am i supposed to be look in a mirror I'm sure the costume is prepared properly simply look in a mirror Oh, I don't have to read anything. Oh, the mirror. Ooh, I know what we're doing. Okay. Looks like everything's in place. I feel gussied up. Even for me, this outfit's pretty loud. But even so, the beauty of this world, this whole ensemble is out of this world. And that is showering in here. Better meet with Esther in the other room. All I have to do is stand where the planet's light can reach me and... I already know what you're gonna say, Missy. Yellow is more your color than mine. But I still look pretty good, right? You clean up well. I'm impressed. You'd be presentable before my royal court in that. It's a pretty snug fit. The mask almost feels alive. Like it's molding to fit my face perfectly. Quite the opposite, dearest. Your face is molding to fit the mask. Ah, I don't like that. Feel a twist of metal digging into my temples. Oh, it's like it's like the mask from JoJo. It's stuck in my face somehow. Ow! Ow! It really won't come off. That we reenact the play with deadly accuracy. Ah. Uh. From this point on in the play, your character never removes his mask. So neither shall you. What am I supposed to do this with uh, a old oh. someone who is planning to be my eternal servant? Correct. No problem at all. Can't even blink anymore. My eyelids are stretched to meet the indifferent metal of the eye. The mask oh. in your face now guilt and gold. This is... Oh, what? Do I have to wear this to work? When I see family? When I see Lynetta? Wait a minute. Strange people outside. They all had masks stuck to them too. Are they past followers who became Esther's servants? Is that going to be my fate? Alright. So, let's... Uh, okay, I'm, I'm like ready to like do interior, well lit. That's all that I need. Where's robes and a mask? I can't take the mask off. Robe, well lit. Well lit. Uh... Let's get going. Here we love the lovely. Welcome, company much cherished. May my loneliness thus perish. To this evening we shall share which would be wasted by myself. No attendants have arrived tonight, alas, besides thyself. But all 
be beside myself when the king reveals himself. Lay thine hands upon my bodice, for before you stands a goddess. Know this guest of goldenrod is merely the first of the night. Let us drink to your great wealth and family and life, lasting till your afterlife. I'll be yours once he arrives. Say those words. Yes, until my schemes may flourish, we shall haunt my empty fortress. Let us dance a whirling dervish while we feed our appetites. By the morrow, we shall know if the king came tonight. Midnight marks the final chime. Until that last comes, there is still time. Baby, graciously obeisance, demonstrate a courtly patience. He declines no invitation he receives upon his court. All who live in doomed Yatil will know without report. The king arrived by your escort. A prophecy of grim import. Yeah. There's only one more scene to reenact, and then this world will be mine. I probably should have asked before we got to the final act, but this play isn't a tragedy, right? No, it's not. The ending is actually quite hilarious. Oh, that's actually a huge relief. What happens? Your character is slain, and all of his wishes come true in an unexpected way. How we are covering the bunny again. In his ambitions of greed, influence, and fame, he dies penniless, alone, and infamous. Wait, my character. I'm gonna die? I thought you said it was a comedy. Comedy is merely tragedy from far enough away, dearest. Yeah, you're right. All right. <laughs> is she implying that she thinks my death would be funny? I get that she's an outer god, so human morals don't really apply to her, but that's. That'd be cruel even for her. No way I can go through with that. Sorry, I don't want to die I again. I anticipated that you might get cold feet after learning of your character's fate. However, my wrath is terror far beyond a touch of stage fright. I believe that. So, for your sake, dearest, do the fucking scene. <gasps> Best girl. <laughs> Let's sort of look at your tentacles again. Cute little tentacles. What is it now? It's just thinking. You know how saying your name sounds. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I wonder really? if they, since I've gone through more of the the rituals, the, the scenes for more her. Quest. Yes. What do you? No. Yeah, okay, we've had if that I'm conversation. I suppose. Which is my favorite? Do mmm mmm ah. Uh, I think I like the sass a little bit more, and her tentacles are a whole lot more huggable. So Lynetta's your your sister. Hello, sister, one of our parents is the same. Though we have the same grandparents, so cousins is also technically accurate. That okay. Your grandparents are the same, so both yours and Lynetta's parents are related to each other by blood. I suppose so. Why? You're inbred. Purebred. The term is purebred, dearest. I here on Earth, you know, down in the South, we call them inbred. But you after all, there's only about fifty offended. of us total, not unlike a pantheon of gods. He, I. In Greek mythology, yeah. Zeus and Hera, husband and wife, were siblings. This kind of thing is only yeah. natural yeah. when we're, godhood we're, is yeah. involved. Yeah. Makes sense. You would do well Perfect to remember sense. that ethics, taboos, and social norms between gods are not like yours, huh? Okay. Things aren't so white and black in the outer cosmos. They're more... pink and yellow. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, yep, you got me. You got me. I'm gonna go see if anything's different about. Oh, no, 
pretty the same. I am tempted to wash my face, but I, I am also horrified to wash my face. Okay. You're sensitive to, to stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna just like look for five seconds, look away in three, two, one. Okay, that's not as bad. Okay, we're we're going we're going now. We're we're off it. That's not as bad as I was expecting. The other the other thing is like whew, it's gross. The other one is real gross, but that's that's not that bad. Wet feathers don't mix what are you what are you talking about? Just what the heck are you saying? I can put that wait a minute, what happens if I put that on over the mask? What sort of Oh, it doesn't it shows okay, never mind. Okay, I guess I'll put that back. Okay, so what I've only got two, one heart. How am I gonna smooch her if I die? Wait a minute. How am I gonna? Hello? She's, she's just gone. She's like, you've talked to me enough. I'm leaving. We're at the banquet. Okay. Uh, prepare for scene three by doing the following: retrieve ingredients, red fire. We've got red fire. Uh, ingredients. Allow the king into the room. Well, the lights... Uh, how do I get the king in the room? Um, oh, dude, she's still sho showering. Oh, shit. Well, I'm gonna presume that she's in the room since the light's on. Do not make a mistake or a hungry, uninvited guest may arrive. Oh, this is how I'm... No, no, we're gonna we're gonna do it straight this one time. This this time, we'll we'll get Nyarthrotep in here soon. <laughs> Dude, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. She's gonna be so extra. I can just be like, hang on. I gotta I gotta turn on my light and turn the blind sh shut the blinds. All right. Okay. I'm I'm so hyped. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, I don't. There's no other page. I just want to double check. Prepare the scene. Ingredients. Check. I don't think I should be wearing the robes. Maybe. I don't know. Just be naked. That's fine. Red fire candles. King. Uh, the king can come in if they choose. Do I need to turn off? It doesn't say anything about the lights. It just says it's about the candles. Make it more atmospheric. Maybe. Maybe. I'll leave those lights on. I don't leave the lights on. Leave the turtle. I don't need the dagger. Got the food. Candles are on. Okay, all right. Here we go. Simply exquisite, yes. I believe this banquet will do nicely. The room is filled with the mouth-watering aroma of perfectly seasoned meat and fresh fruit. There must be a magical component involved here because I see no less than three of my favorite dishes. Esther is strutting towards my bed. Surely you don't intend to merely watch me eat, dearest. I didn't think she was going to let me have any. <laughs> well, don't mind if I do. Ah, uh, that's not what I meant. Instead of watching me eat this feast, you'll feed it to me. I mean, that's pretty pog, too. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what uh, was that? Sounded like the groans of murderous anger from outside the door. Oh no. Oh no. Is that from the masked stalkers outside? They've all got masks on their faces. They must be Esther's followers or even ex partners. And their groans were of jealousy? It makes sense. They've been locked outside all this time. I bet they'd kill for the chance to spend any time with Esther. Just a moment, dearest. What is the thread count of your silken sheets? At least 1,000, I presume. Uh... Um... This is... This is modern-day life on... On Earth. Ha uh, ha. This, this man obviously ain't rich. We, we, you were paying his rent back when we knew you as Missy, so, um, no. No, we're probably lucky if they're, like, 50 count. <laughs> so... Um, <clears throat> silk? My blankets are cotton. Perhaps I'll just stand 
mind while you feed me and stuff? I am very sorry. <laughs> Picky bitch. Is that uppity? Maybe I'll start with the grapes? Something that'll feed her princess complex? Uh... Okay, that, that was adorable. That was actually really cute. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> Here you are. Just... Hey, think I could have one of these? <laughs> Dream on. My lips have already touched it. If you want an indirect kiss, you'll have to be more clever than that. I wasn't trying to. Yeah, so you won't anything my lips have touched either. Of course not. You're eyeing this cream puff, right? Would you like me to feed you a bite? I casually take a bite out of the cream puff. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> this is what I'm saying. She's sassy, that's why she's... <laughs> but I can't choose yet. Can't choose yet. Okay, let's just be serious. Let's just be serious for a moment. So we can't choose yet. You see, because we still haven't seen Yarthotep. I... I could be wrong. It may not be. It may not end up being Nyarthotep, but I know. I know my Eldritch stuff. Let me try. Oh, you're gonna have some. I thought, even though my lips have touched it. I. I don't want it after all. Well, if you don't want it, then I guess I can have some now, right? Hey! Oh my gosh, it's so good. Nothing tastes better than food with a twist of eldritch magics. It's a shame you don't want any of it. What's it gonna be? Watch me eat your favorite dessert or suffer an indirect kiss? <laughs> that was so beautifully delivered. Give me the cream puff. I love that. What was- wait, I'm sorry, are you telling me again? I order you to hand over the cream puff! Ah, uh, you don't want me to feed it to you? You want me to- you just- here you go. <laughs> Very well, thine king. I offer over the other half the cream puff to her eager hands, but instead... Of course. <laughs> I forgot. I was hand feeding her. Her lips are insanely soft against my fingers. Mm, it really is delightful. She's damn cute when she drops her statistic front. I do more, but I feel those husks staring jealous daggers into my back. They'll tear my head off if I go on. Shouldn't we save some of this for the play? It'll hurt the performance if we eat the entire set, won't it? I suppose. Very well. Let us resume the play. Oh, we're in the last act, but that wasn't the last thing we had to do. All right. Is there anything new back here? No, just that face staring at us. I like that it sort of like uncovers the pages. Like you learn, you understand more how to read the gibberish as you go along. King in yellow. Eclipse. Setting interior. No light besides the open window. Gotcha. Uh, enters wearing robes and mask. Gotcha. Gotcha. Screw nothing up. Put that away. Mask and robes. Got the mask on. All right. Is that everything? I don't gotta do anything between stuff. Nope. All right. Sounds good. Let's let's get this let's get this last act going. Radio things were lurking. Hell yeah. Hope you're doing good. Damn the night and morrow, scornful, wicked morning, unremorseful. Why tonight must I be mournful for ambitions unfulfilled? After all my preparations, all the daylights I have killed, why is it us only still? Oh, why were my wishes unfulfilled? Oh, why so livid? It's your 
your actions that permitted this result truly befitted to a hunger such as thine. Though your greed is grave and tomb and crypt in which you die, it's within your grease you fry. Dearest host, the end is nigh. Yada, 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 yada. Wretched guest, you have come to mock me, for bemusement thou wast hawking. And so in the town you stalked me to watch my schemes fall apart. Strip thy mask, apologize, then hastily depart. Leave thee just my broken heart. Leave not else in whole or part. I wear no mask, no witness, for it was thee who has permit this golden guest to own the dimness of the city of Yatil. Go, for I'm the king in yellow whose oh, long shit. shadows on your till, and whose shadow you're in still. Those aren't tentacles. Now you till. <laughs> fatally injures the host. King fatally injures the host. How do I? Oh, here we go. Ugh! Draw thy blade from mine contusion, my life reaches its conclusion. Cruelty matched by your delusion that you truly are the king. Yes, you would have granted all my wishes, not forsaken me. If indeed you were the king, why would you have murdered me? I'm afraid I disagree all alone you are with all of your remaining family. And as vision turns to darkness, you have claim to all you see. And you'll wear that mask and robe for the rest of all your life indeed. And the strong will fall to illness, haunt you till with crypt-like stillness, and none left alive to witness my ascension to you till. And from the catacombs shall spill the cries of innocence laid still. We heard from lady and from smithy and from throne to peasant mill. Cries unprecedented in the history of Yatil. Wails unlike they'll ever be again in dark Yatil. That your invitation's quill brought the king to black Yatil. Dude, I hate him. That was fucking actually really fucking cool. That was really fucking cool. I love this. Dude, whoever did the writing for this, oh my god. Dude, they filled in the holes. Innumerable voices make up the cacophony of cheering outside my door. Fantastic revelry, screams of terror, and sadistic amusement all amidst thunderous applause. The king has come. Smiles, dearest, smiles. Aren't you proud of yourself? Aren't I? Why? Why didn't you use a stage knife? I'm actually bleeding out here. My blood streams from a gaping wound in my chest. My abdomen is unseamed. To ensure you stay in character, call it method acting, if you will. Oh, with sweet sorrow, the curtain falls, and the show begins. Octopus girl having the longest show ever. Gotta be hard to wash all the tentacles. The stage is now set for you to inscribe the yellow sign. Do this, and I will bestow upon you the smooch I promised. Two. Two. Count them one, two smooches. You mean the smooches you promised? Plural. Even now, that's really all you can think about? I ain't playing this game to not get smooches or tentacle hugs, bitch. Your world is about to be enslaved by a horror from beyond the stars. You're dying from a stab wound. And you're worried about smooches? If I know anything about gods... It's that bad things happen to them when they don't follow through on what they say they're going to do. You are an interesting human. It is a pity that you'll soon cast away your individuality for me. Okay, I don't remember that being part of the deal. 
Um, uh, okay, I'm gonna check the mirror. Uh, look away for for like ten seconds. Look, 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 look away. Okay, we don't actually have a dagger in a. What's something? What is that? Oh no, I think that's just shadows. Okay, that's good. We're good. It's all over. Let's see. What do we got? She's still taking a shower in there, by the way. Host expires. Last verse kills audience. King exits. Recast the role of host. Begin to play anew. Wait a minute. Then what else is there? The yellow sign. Uh, right. Yellow sign is only visible or drawable by those who have witnessed or performed the king in yellow play. Oh, so do I gotta put this on here? Yellow sign? Yellow sign? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Would you look at that? Why is there a cross over it, though? Being exposed to the yellow sign after witnessing or performing the play of the king will cause a permanent, irreversible obsession with the king, her court, and Carcosa. This insane obsession persists after death. <laughs> if you are content to spend your life with the king, dim all lights, leaving your window open, and light black fire candles, this will allow otherworldly images to reveal themselves. Draw the shape below without the X. Oh, I see. The mark can't exist, like, in its pure form. Are all my lights off? Yes. Yes. Uh, king? Um. Um. Dim all lights. Window open. Draw the shape. Oh, do I need to draw the shape last? Take off the robe, maybe? Oh, they're not black fi fire. That's right. Behold oh, all right. the yellow sign. Become my slave. My eternal captive audience. I am entropy. Disorder. Where things are built tall, I appear to knock them down. Monuments, nations, relationships. Some of these husks have wedding rings on their fingers. I steal the hearts and minds of the rich or powerful to break them. And litter my court with them like gold dust. But why me of all people? I'm broke. Because and the breeze of chaos that knocks down any tower that challenges the grandness of my court. Your relationship with my sister was one of those things. Uh... Before, I only pursued you because you have a great deal of cloud amongst the Nycalin crowd and shrewd wealthy types. Uh... You would have been an incredibly powerful servant who would have been able to draw in countless wayward souls that meet my standards. At least... Until that reality ended and you undid all of my hard work. All of my followers that I had stolen from Lynetta. Gone in an instant. And I had no choice but to abandon that reality. Oh. There's nothing left to destroy if nothing exists, you see. That's true. But in this reality, I've stolen away her most powerful asset. You. Just as I've stolen every member of my entourage. Alright, I like her a little bit less. I thought, like, we could be sassy at each other, but she's just, like, playing fucking Game of Thrones out here. Meanwhile, Lynetta actually, like, really cares about me. No, I think she actually has some feelings. All the husks, they're bleeding from their chests onto their elegant robes, just like me. I'm not wearing any robes. Oh, I am wearing robes. All these people, why? Uh -huh. Because it's what I do. No, I mean, why are they still here? Aren't they kind of third wheeling our moment here? Kick them out. Such a defiant tone. Why aren't you under the effects of the yellow sign? Because I haven't gotten my smooches. Where'd my tentacle hugs? Were you unaffected? Did did the spell fail? 
I'm gonna need you to listen real close, okay? Just, just let me get my, get my, come here, come here, okay? I need you to listen real close, okay? Just listen. I want tentacle hugs, bitch. Give them to me. Give them to me. Tell me you can break that will, huh? Tell me. Tell me. Get back to the other scene. I don't feel any different. You're supposed to be obsessed with me. I think you're obsessed with me. <laughs> I already was since I first saw you. That's why your little spell didn't work. <laughs> you can try and resist it all you want, but one way or another, you're my eternal slave from now on. Are you proposing to me? I accept. No, dearest, I'm not talking about marriage. What I'm talking about is catering to my every whim, anticipating my every desire, and living solely to please me. Yeah, uh, that just sounds like marriage. <laughs> no! I'm talking about a servitude where you do nothing but kiss the ground I walk on and revere me for all of time! A servitude unlike anything on Earth, where you never so much as think of anyone else! No, we have that on Earth. It's called marriage. It's different! <laughs> oh, really? It's not. It is too! Uh, how so? It means no freedom. Forever. You are only permitted to do as I say. Yep. <clears throat> and it means preparing every single one of my meals for me, whenever I so wish. Yeah, for sure. And it means never being allowed to quit your servitude. You'll never be free of me so long as you live. Until death do us part, even? Exactly. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry, but you're literally just describing being married. I mean, hey, if that's what you want, then I'm in. Let's get married. <laughs> you, you shouldn't. I... We don't even got three hearts. <laughs> your relationship with Lynetta. Uh, I'm so glad that we get to be sassy back at her still. <laughs> I preferred you from the beginning. I already broke up with Lynetta in the other reality, actually. Why are you being so persistent? You can't really want to marry me that badly. I could become the queen in yellow. You're just trying to act all smooth, so I give you your second smooch. No, I want tentacle hugs. And save it for our wedding day. Uh, it, you can't be serious, right? He was serious. Ha 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 ha! This game is so great. <laughs> Otaku, how's it going? Oh my god. Alright, so what do we got going on here? Wait, that's not the second? Okay. We have two of our endings. How the fuck do I... Okay, I've gotta do... I've gotta do both. 